Hello guys, in this video I will create this admin panel which you see on the screen with Vue.js single page application and Laravel API. And I will do that with our quick admin panel generator which now has kind of a milestone celebration. It has all the field types, the Vue.js version as the original version. So now we can offer a full CRUD generator for Vue.js and single page application and I will show you how to generate something like that. The final code I will put on GitHub so you can take a look what we generate and then we'll dive a bit into the code and I will show you how to customize it. For example, remove one of the fields in the data table. Let's go. First, if we go to quickadminpanel.com and log into our account and create a new project, you can choose Laravel. So the old classic way that we have generated for four years or something and new Vue.js, which appeared only in 2020. Choose Vue.js. Let's call the project companies. We can choose now Laravel version, by the way, this was also launched this week. So we support Laravel 8 and a few things you can choose as well. The theme is Material UI, Material Dashboard. So for now we have only one design theme in Vue.js version. We'll see if it gets popular, the Vue.js version. We will add more themes in the future. And we will create three cross, three menu items, cities, categories and companies. And company will belong to one city but will belong to many categories. So I will show you the relationships and also I will show you file fields or in fact photo fields, how they work now in Vue.js version because it's pretty impressive, I will show you. So create quite menu item, first we call cities and we add only one field for the city, text field name, which would be required. And that's it. We save the CRUD and now we have one menu item, cities to manage. Next menu item is categories, categories, add new field, also category name, required, nothing else. And the main magic will be in the CRUD companies, the third one. And the code is being generated under the hood while we're creating more fields, more CRUDs. So, companies, and now it gets interesting. So company name, which is required, then let's add a description, also text field, but optional. Then let's add relationships. So one field type is belongs to relationship to a city. So city system automatically will add underscore ID. So all we need to choose is the model to belong to and then which field to show in the list. It's not the field for the relationship, but it's the field that will be shown in the company table, city name, save. And another relationship is it belongs to many relationship to categories. Categories belongs to many categories and it will automatically create a pivot table, in this case, category company, save. And finally, let's add a photo field, field type photo, it's called a logo. You can choose multiple files, by the way, and we save and we save CRUD. And now we can download this code, launch it locally, and I'll show you how it works under the hood. If you are familiar with our original quick admin panel version versus Vue.js, Vue.js unfortunately doesn't have a preview button because to preview panel on our server with all the NPM installs and NPM commands would be a really long time to wait for you and really tricky for us to handle that on our server. So in this case, we decided not to provide that hosting, at least for now, so we can only download the code and launch it locally. This is exactly what I will do now. And the instruction is pretty typical Laravel project. So env file, composer install, migration, key generate, and then these three are related to Vue.js version. So we use Laravel Passport for API authentication, and then you need to compile the assets. Okay, so I did exactly as the instruction said on my local. Here's the result of npm run dev, and here's the visual result. The material UI theme with login form. Default credentials are admin, admin com and password. We log in and we see those three menu items that we have created. So cities, let's add some city, for example, London. Then let's add one more, for example, Manchester. And categories, the same thing, add new, for example, toys as a category of companies and for example, IT, for example. And then companies, this is where it gets more interesting. So name of the company, for example, Apple, description optional, city, London, 
categories. You can choose multiple categories, toys, MIT, like this. And now see the latest masterpiece of file uploads. So like that, you choose some file and it looks like this. Then you save and that's it. Here we have our admin panel for three menu items. You can edit the company, you can delete the company, something like description, you can delete for example this one. So typical admin panel just with Vue.js, single page application, Laravel as API and material UI theme. I will put it up on the GitHub and now let's take a look at the code, what's under the hood. So if you look at that table, this is powered by a component in resources, admin app. Admin app is everything about admin panel that we generate. Then JS CRUDs and every CRUD has a folder, in this case companies, with four components usually and let's take a look at index view, so the table. It has the template with div with material dashboard HTML code with properties for permissions and I will link the separate video in the description how that works. Then some buttons and then the main table is this one. It's a data table which is used from this component, view to data table and it's actually our fork. The original one is this one, view to data table, which we've picked as the best one on the market currently. The problem with that, however, it is deprecated. It works really well with Vue.js 2, but the author no longer works for that company. So we kind of were forced to fork it into our Laravel daily just to be able to fix if anything goes wrong. So we own that package now, own the fork. We use that inside of our quick admin panel generator. And if something goes wrong, we can fix it and not wait for someone else to fix it. So yeah, the usage of that is pretty simple. So data table with some parameters. And then at the bottom, you have columns array with the fields, what you want to show, what are the properties of the fields, some, for example, visibility, class, styling, query, and more properties. So this is how the table works. And as an experiment, let's try to remove one field from the table and see how it works. So for example, description, usually it's a long text description. So it's either empty or really long, which doesn't make sense to have in the table. And let's remove that. So description. Remove that line and run npm run dev. Or maybe you're running npm run watch already on the project, which I'm not in this case. So I do npm run dev again and build successful. And let's refresh the table. Refresh. And as you can see, no description field here. My point here is that it does look a bit complicated with a lot of code, a lot of components and the internal structure, it is indeed complicated and complex. But to customize that, it's not that hard. So again, I will put this code on GitHub. You can take a look and see if it fits your needs. And then if you want more admin panels, go to our quickadminpanel.com, generate the Vue SPA projects. And if you have any questions or suggestions, how we can improve that tool, shoot me in the comments or write an email to me directly. The email is on the screen now. And this is what I wanted to show you, what we've achieved with our quick admin panel with Vue.js version. That's it for now. See you guys in other videos.